Brian Health introduced new security measures to keep patients and staff safe in the hospital. Channel 8's Anthony Diagostino was at Bryant East today to see the technology at work. Anthony? One third of Nebraska hospitals said in a survey this year that violence in hospitals is getting worse. The other two thirds said it's the same. Weapons of any kind aren't allowed inside hospitals, but that doesn't always stop people from trying to bring them in or accidentally bringing them in. And because of that, Brian Health decided to implement state-of-the-art technology to screen people for weapons as they enter the emergency department. They first put the system, which is called Evolve, in the Brian West Emergency Department. So why did we first put it on West Campus in the West ED? It's because we measure and look at instances of workplace violence that are occurring, and the West Emergency Department was higher than other areas within the hospital. And they've seen success over there. Blymeister said so far the system has kept around 1,000 weapons out of the emergency room. The system is now in place at both hospitals' emergency departments. It uses AI to identify potential weapons on someone and then notifies the security officer via a tablet. The equipment was purchased with grant money. Both of these were paid through for, by FEMA nonprofit security grants that we obtained in 2022, a $150,000 grant on West Campus and $150,000 on East Campus. There are ongoing conversations at Bryan Health about expanding this to all public entrances hospital-wide in the future. Reporting in Lincoln, Anthony Diagostino, Channel 8 News. Brian Health also implemented a new visitation policy system-wide today. Visitors may come from 5 a.m. until 8.30 or on the weekend. This does not include the emergency room mental health or the women and children's wing. 